How's it going everyone? Got quite a few PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 game updates. A pretty notable JRPG just getting announced this morning in Soul Hackers 2. A follow-up to a game that came out way back in the day and then also uh, there was a DS port I believe a few years ago. We'll talk about that. So that'll be coming actually pretty soon, August 26th. I mean, all things considered, that's relatively soon, six months away. Elden Ring gets a brand new overview trailer. We'll talk about that and also a request from the Elden Ring Twitter account that hopefully everyone follows and a couple of announcements from Capcom. That new game announcement was not the Resident Evil 4 remake, but it's a pretty notable one. We'll get to that at the end of this video. First up, Soul Hackers 2 has been announced for PS5, Xbox Series, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Now, Soul Hackers, uh, Devil Summoner Soul Hackers, I believe that came out, what, in 97 on the Sega Saturn? Yeah, the original Japanese release on the Sega Saturn was in 1997. It came out on the PlayStation in 1999. Those never made it stateside, but uh, Devil Summoner Soul Hackers on the 3DS came uh, stateside April 16th of 2013. So, uh, Soul Hackers 2 is going to be a game you're going to be able to jump right in. You're not going to have to have prior knowledge. Don't worry about that. The game notes a story set in the midst of the 21st century. A little further in the future from now, Dem uh, demon summoners live in a dark societies and harness the supernatural powers of demons. And Aeon, a being that watches over the world, detects the world's forthcoming ruin. Visually, the game... Uh, like in the style, I mean, it's not blow away visually or anything like that. It is coming to PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, not coming to Nintendo Switch, which I'm a little bit surprised about, but uh, maybe it'll get a Nintendo Switch port later on. But it is coming to Xbox One and Xbox Series, and a lot of the times, these Atlas titles, we don't, uh, you know, correlate them coming to Xbox. I mean, none of the Persona games really usually come to Xbox and whatnot, but... Nice to see this one come to Xbox as well. There's a lot of information already out on the Devil Summoners, the demons in the game, uh, soul hacking, uh, and uh, quite a bit. But uh, yeah, I'll leave a link to Gamatsu in the description box below. They got a nice overview on that. But hey, more JRPGs coming this uh, year. That's definitely an exciting thing. This year, we still don't have a complete outline on all of the Japanese RPGs that are going to be coming this year. But it does look a little bit quieter in uh, as far as speaking in February, but things can really pick up in the latter portion of the year, and you know, potentially, who knows, Final Fantasy 16 could still hit this year, and there could be a billion other games in the works, but last year was pretty heavy for uh, new JRPGs with like Tales of Arise, Scarlet Nexus, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Intermission, the DLC, um, etc, etc, Ease 9, another big one, so we'll, hopefully that does pick up in the latter portion of the year. Alright, moving on from that, Elden Ring has gotten a brand new overview trailer, 7 minutes in length so this is a sizable trailer going over all of the key information regarding the game would recommend you to check that out if you you know are okay with watching some of the gameplay i know some people that are going completely dark they're not clicking anything related to elden ring and they just want to be completely fresh going into the release of the game definitely can understand especially if you're like one of those hardcore souls fans and you just want to go into the game and experience everything for yourself not a bad idea uh there are spoilers coming out here and there bandai namco is being pretty swift about it over on youtube some people have posted clips and uh the embargo has not lifted I believe it lifts on february 23rd um but yeah those have swiftly been removed but uh i mean if you want to search it out i'm sure you can find it if you want to stay in the dark hopefully you can stay in the dark um you know, I know a lot of people got Horizon spoiled for themselves. And not, you know, like, intentionally, like, accidentally through, like, you know, YouTube and thumbnails and whatnot. Like, yikes, that's not the greatest thing in the world. But, uh, yeah, around the release of any especially story-driven game and a big one like that, uh, I would definitely, like, try to remove yourself from social media as much as possible. Especially if you have been spoiled in the past and you know, like, it's gonna be rough and you don't want to be spoiled. Yeah, probably remove yourself. In the case of Elden Ring, yeah, you can get some boss fights spo spoiled, and that absolutely sucks if you did. But uh, in the case of Horizon, it seemed like a lot of people got, like, narrative points spoiled for them, so that was kind of unfortunate. Thankfully, uh, I was able to stay in the dark as far as that's concerned. Also, speaking of which, Elden Ring's official Twitter account uh, did note, Greetings Tarnished, with the release of Elden Ring promptly approaching, please be mindful of spoilers for those who wish to experience the lands between for the first time with unclouded eyes. Thank you for your kind cooperation, Elden Ring. Ring. Nice of them to put out this tweet. I know a lot of people are also going to get early copies of the game and whatnot. 
If you really want, just get off YouTube and whatnot, except, you know, hit our notification bell so you can still get updated when we post videos. We won't spoil you, Elden Ring. I'm getting the game the same day you guys get it. So don't worry too much about that, but uh, yeah, I kid. Um, but yeah, do hit that bell notification button. All right, moving on from that. Some Capcom news, Street Fighter 6 has been officially announced, very brief trailer, so this was the countdown, it was not Resident Evil 4 Remake, um, but Street Fighter 6 has finally been announced, it's been quite a while since we saw the initial release of Street Fighter 5, and man, Ryu looking, Ryu looking kind of buff, I mean, saw some people on uh, social media saying he kind of looked like Giga Chad, yeah, I'm definitely getting Giga Chad vibes from Ryu now, um, but yeah, Street Fighter, I played the hell out of Street Fighter 4 when it came out back in like February of 2009. Nine. You guys remember that intro to Street Fighter 4 too? I feel like it was kind of underrated. I remember people crapping all over that intro back in February of 2009, but I like that intro. But nevertheless, uh, that should be coming at some point, but we are scheduled to hear more news uh, sometime in the summer. So uh, yeah, if you're into Street Fighter, that's going to be something you can look forward to. And how about this? Capcom Fighting Collection announced for PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC includes 10 different games with a rollback netcode, and it'll be priced at $39.99. Now, what games does it come with? You got Do uh, Darkstalkers, The Night Warriors, Night Warriors, Darkstalkers Revenge, Vampire Savior, Vampire Hunter 2, Vampire Savior 2, Red Earth, Cyberbots, Super Gem Fighter, Mini Mix, Super Puzzle Fighter 2, Turbo, and Hyper Street Fighter 2. Some classics there. So, I feel like that's a pretty decent price, $39.99. I mean, what I like to see, $29.99, but again, I'm always going to be kind of cheap when it comes to these game collections and, uh, I, I remember like collections like the Sega Genesis collection and things like that, that being $30, so that's what I always kind of harken back to, but, you know, things are going up in price, so I guess $39.99 is fine, at least it's not $60, bucks, but this is definitely going to be a throwback to those of you that played these fighting games back in the day, you'll probably get a kick out of this, and hey, 10 games for $40, bucks, 4 bucks a pop, that sounds pretty good, even if you're not going to jump into all of them, as long as you're going to play a couple of them, have a good time with those. I think that's a reasonable enough price point. And that's going to do it for me. Again, Soul Hackers 2 has been announced for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Hopefully, it gets a Nintendo Switch announcement at some point as well. I think this game could run on the Nintendo Switch. But uh, yeah, hopefully that announcement comes sooner rather than later. Elden Ring getting a brand new overview trailer uh, and uh, a plea from the Twitter account. Let's keep the game not spoiled. But uh, yeah, I think you guys should be able to avoid Elden Ring spoilers pretty easily. Street Fighter 6 has been officially announced. Ryu looking pretty buff in there. Capcom Fighting Game Collection also announced. That'll be coming June 24th, by the way, $39.99. So that's going to be right around the corner. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Sound off there. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.